Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? We are playing Prismatic Banane. And actually, during neutrals, I spawned in a Rel 2. Uh, it's a two cost unit, so obviously, having a two star two cost is crazy. And when you have that, you want to take something like spawn plated because it's free front line for your Rel. So let's spawn, the, let's spawn this in. Uh, we're going to keep the Darius in. And actually, I probably play a Visionary here instead of Sentinel. I think slamming something like Shojin here from Org is not a bad idea, although I think. Considering our comp is is very stool heavy, I'm probably gonna play Archangels instead. Uh, Morg has like 40 mana, so probably best idea is like just let Rel stool and then Morg can just kill everyone. What's the zero to ten thing? It's the Conqueror. So um, having Darius plus Rel in the same comp, they're both Conquerors, so I, I get to stack up this thing on the side, which gives me rewards. Unfortunately, this person doesn't know that Morgana is a backliner. <laughs> but you can see just the Rel will do so much damage with the Bramble and then stall for a while for the for the Morg. But it's nice to have the Conqueror thing. It's it's takedowns on the right side and it's going to give me Econ as well. So it's, it's actually pretty huge. No black screen stream today? Legit. Thankfully, we can actually get into a PBE game. Um, six gold off this. Uh, I can spawn in 8 gold, 9 if I win, 10 if I sell Morg. I'm not going to sell Morg Pair. It's probably meant to be level here for Sentinel. Um, the only thing is, do I even lose a fight? Maybe not. Ooh, so this, the Augment gave Rel 2. This person's playing more Scrap units. I think I'm fine. I, I think my, my board actually beats everyone, so I'm down to just not level here and just greet it a bit. Um, I probably won't go 5 then before neutrals. I think my board's probably strong enough just at the 4, uh, level 4 to like just win streak here. This person's sacking as well, so it's a good win for me. There's actually an argument to make 10 buys. There's just no way I'm selling Morg Pair. If, if I could keep Morg Pair and make 10, I definitely would sell the rest of these, but no point yet. It's by the 1 cost. I'm never playing set 2, even if I hit it, because my front line is Watchers and Sentinel. I don't really need the bruises, so... I don't need to buy the set pair. I'm just buying the one cost in the pool for Morg, though it makes a very minor difference. Add the Sentinel in now, and then we look to make 10. I'm never playing these units. I really have paired Morg paired. And then we're looking to maybe play a Watcher, uh, like Vladimir. Vladimir is Watcher Sork, and Swain is a Conqueror Sork, so it's probably good to have keep the Vlad as one of the units that goes in when we play Swain Draven, because inevitably this line's probably going to go into full Conqueror soon. Is this foreshadowing for Darius to make an arcane uh, appearance? I mean, I don't think every single unit in the set's going to be from arcane. Um, my personal theory is, like, these baseline skins... I wonder if that's that means they won't make, be making this set. I mean, they won't make, be making an appearance into Arcane, but maybe that's not true. It's like, if they make a new skin for the, the unit in the set, it's probably an Arcane. Although, have there been any new... Like, the Zyra, Experiment Zyra, I feel like that's probably going to be... Still sad Victor's not in the set. Mort did say they were they were adding more units as the set goes on. They just didn't want to give any spoilers yet. So Victor could appear in the set, but they didn't want to give spoilers to Arcane. So he might be added uh, after the episode drops from Arcane. Add BT or Sterax here. Um, I'm probably just going to go slam BT Rel. She's doing a decent amount of damage. So I don't feel too bad about slamming BT Rel here. Black Bros Dominator. Okay, we got the two gold cash out from the Conk as well. Um, I mean, I could play Black Bros with the um, Cassio, Morgana, and the Vladimir here. I would have to level. I don't hate it, though. Good to the last drop. I don't hate it. I, I, don't, I don't love it, though. I feel like I'd rather not play Black Bros here. Actually... Let's do it. I get Watcher as well, so I'm not too upset about it. The only thing I'm upset about is I lose me making 20, but it's not too bad. I love this new board. Like, the music's so chill, no? I, I can't wait to get it. Although, I'm not going to get it on the main game because I don't want to swipe for it, but on PBE, I can't wait to stop playing it. 
Although I feel like if I play this enough on PB, I'm gonna want to play it. It's so chill, no? Look, this guy's running up and stat down the stairs and stuff. Yeah, I really like the I really like the music on this board, so I'm very tempted. Oh, this guy's Ken Baron spat. Holy. I mean, honestly, I probably am meant to play this. I'm probably meant to buy this. The only thing I don't like about this current setup I have is my Rel's meant to have everyone wrap around her because she's got the Bramble and the Thorn Plated. And also I don't have Sentinel for Rel. And those are the two things I'm not really liking about the current comp. Maybe we can add a Dominator in as well. I'd rather play Vertical Conk because I like getting the gold cash outs from Conqueror. I think it's really good. On the bright side... I didn't slam BT, which is kind of a good thing. It means I can greed until neutrals. Because I'd rather slam gargoyles on this rel or and then save the sword for something like Shojin. But none of my fights have had to slam BT, so we're kind of chill. The one thing I will say is the UI, I will probably forget to slam items often. What's up? Have you found the good comps? I mean, honestly, I think the best comp in the game right now is for Emissary uh, and then for quick whatever it is, the, the Ambessa comp. I think this this unit is just mega broken right now and like it will get nerfed, but yeah, just mega broken right now. We have the Blitzcrank or we have the Ziggs. Uh, I think I'll probably play the Blitzcrank. Actually, I don't really need the front line. I'm down to play this. I wonder if Black Rose in the show has anything to do with Black unit Rose units in the TFT. I mean, to be honest, I don't know what Black Rose in the show is, but I'm sure it probably has some kind of thing to do with it. I haven't watched much of it. I kind of forgot to keep watching. Okay, I'm down to hold Blitzcrank Terror instead. Gargoyles is huge. Gargoyles it is. I probably slammed Deathblade as well here. Yo, City, good to see you. Yo! How is everyone? Listen, D. Spoiler alert. I see. Making two star here is pretty good. I'm probably meant to jam the death blade, but the thing is, I don't really have a unit to play it on currently. So I don't feel super good about jamming the death blade. I can see myself dropping the black rose units, but, or dropping the, uh, what's it called, units? Conqueror units. But we can leave them in for now. I think I get a 2 star 2 cost next cash from the, the Conqueror trait, and I think that is probably definitely worth keeping my units in until. Cooking Pot. What did they slam? Pip Fighter? They're going vertical Pip Fighter. So many cash out traits to set. I mean, there's two, right? Ten Baron is Lose Streak, Conqueror is Win Streak. Wow, what's doing damage to me? GP and Ergot. Oh, it is an Ergot too, to be fair. Family? Is family a cash out trait? Only if you get five. I mean, you need two spats for it, to be fair. That's pretty difficult to get. But yeah, I guess that does count. Dude, this guy's Kogmo's going crazy. <laughs> How do you feel about Econ Traits? Are we Fortune Gaming again? I like Econ Traits a lot. I'm probably going to click so uh, Shop Glitch here. Yeah. Uh, Noxine Guillotine's really, really good. Uh, it's just about whether I want to play Vertical Conk or not. I mean, I have a good spot for it. Like, if I, if I want to play this game properly, I should probably click Noxian and Guillotine. So, we should probably play it properly. Let's add the Sentinel in for now. Looks good to me. You can't just say spoiler alert and then type Victor as the GOAT. No spoilers, please. <laughs> Victor's the goat. Yeah, I mean, I, everyone likes Victor. I feel like there's not many people who don't like that unit. I may have just let Rao solo front line. There is no retreat. I'm slamming DB. I might have shed a tear when you rolled that shock glitch. Yeah, I mean, 
It is unfortunate. I think this DB slam is also wrong, actually. I think I should be saving it for Starax, PT, and Vessa. That's fine. I like the smoke unit a lot, though. She does a lot of damage when she's 3-star. Once I hit, if I hit Blitz too, it's probably over Cassio. I mean, it's probably over a unit and move the item to Cassio. Victor is cool. I think he's super cool. I hit. Perfect. Hit my three Conk. So we're probably moving out of the Black Rose here. Yeah, I think we're moving out of the Black Rose here. Looks good. And just leave the leave the board as is now. Now we have to think about the next unit we're playing. I think I'll eventually like I don't think I'm gonna you know, be playing Black Rose this whole game. I think Morgan is gonna get dropped here. And then we're gonna look for two units to put in. I need an AP carry um, before I drop Morg. I mean if I hit Nami, it's just in immediately over Morg. And then I can Archangel's one of the Sorks, either Swain or Nami. But hit, hitting four Conk here is super good. My board's insane. I mean, I did start with this game with a two-star rel plus thorn-plated armor. It's like opening with a Wukong 2 last, last set. Not as strong, but like very similar. Like just any good tank with the gargoyles and, and thorn-plated is always good. I'm going to look for swords here. We're probably looking to stack Ambassa next. Items-wise, our AP goes on Mordekaiser eventually, and our, we can hold it on Swain, and then our AD goes on Ambessa. Uh, Bell or MR is fine for me. I don't really need bows in this comp. Uh, wait, let me let me get the units out, actually. Uh, one. Oh, actually, I should keep that in. One. And then one. And one. Is that it? Yeah, six conk. And then I like adding Twisted Fate in here. Twisted Fate. We have... Oh, I don't have Ambassa. I added a Lowey. I was, I was thinking that doesn't make sense. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. They look the same. They look the same. They look the same. It's not my fault. Oh, I need to pick up my cash. Two Star Akali. It's playable until Ambassa. Maybe I should add a Lowey as well, though. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I mean, this is Rumble, actually. And then I like playing Savika as well, if you hit it. I've just woken up recently, team. Cut me some slack. <laughs> nice. Good win. Hello, your day. Good to see you. What's the best trait in units? I think the best trait in units are... Um, the Nami unit. The four, four Quick Striker... For a mystery, I think is probably what is actually broken right now. Wow, I hit Silco. Man, I'm probably meant to play this over Morg now. I can also play a Kali TF. Kali TF basically is like Ambassador before I hit Ambassador. I feel like Silco probably carries this items better than Morg too. Uh, like he's a full cost. How are y'all enjoying PBE? I'm enjoying it a lot. I feel like it's like kind of clicking, not really click, but kind of getting there, which is always a good thing. I still don't even have Sentinel in for my Rel. So these two are probably exchangeable for anything. I can just play any two set piece right now. Like the Dominators, the Quick Strikers. It might even be Quick Striker here. Because TF holds Archangel surprisingly well. This guy does so much damage. Down for an Adaptive. Blue buff. 
Ahsoka hold blue buff. Not that great. I think adaptive is better. So this is Ambessa. This is Mordekaiser. In which case I'm down for like last item. USS. Spell crit. Something like that. I mean I actually think there's no point not leveling here. Let's add a sentinel. I need to give my rel some stats. I don't think I need to roll on eight. Um, normally people roll for eight, six conk, but because uh, you have conk plus one normally when you play this comp, but I don't have conk plus one, so I'm kind of down to just go nine here. The nice thing about conk, it's a very win more conk. Like, because you keep getting cash outs, you keep getting like gold slash items. You just get a lot stronger than your opponents. Very quickly. Like if you abuse win streak with this comp, it's really good. I mean you'll see I'm like crushing this lobby, right? After five champions, one one of you are in a copy. I'm good. Freaky Friday is probably best for me. I also like piercing Lotus a lot. I think it's a really good item. A, a really good open. I think it's probably piercing lotus, even though I like Infinity Force a lot. Actually. You know what, I'm actually down for Infinity Force because it's probably really good on, on Ambassador here. And then um I can put the other one on Mordekaiser. He probably makes use of the stats a lot. Anger issues, I mean this comp doesn't really need Rage Blades. It doesn't really make use of it. Must be made. No Nami yet. I do have Sork in. Like maybe I should be itemizing this uh Swain instead. Let's give it a go. I have so many item removers, I want to see how good it is. I think if I'm itemizing, then I probably shouldn't be playing um, Silco uh, Mundo. I don't think it really helps me that much if I'm itemizing Swain. Maybe just add four Sork instead. Buff my Swain's AP. You guys got two Pit Fighter emblems? Yeah, Loki the Starus is a beast. So Tom 4 starring a 3 star on day 1 was complete troll. 4 starring a 3 star on day 1 was complete troll. No, I don't think so. I think it's fine. I think that the... Uh, what's this? The anomaly that 4 stars a 3 star is fine. Uh, I don't think that's all. That's all for. Alright, we got 4 Sork in. It's pretty good. Arcane over full vest, Tyson. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> oh, I should be playing this guy over Leona, probably. You know what? Bramble is literally the augment. It gives my rel at max HP. Wait, I should play this. Because I get another free Bramble, and I have Thorn-Plated Armor. Wait. Wait, that sounds busted. You could have forced out the Morgana 1 if I waited, but like, it's not bad to pick immediate board strength. Like, when you pick when you pick stuff, you should think about your immediate board strength. Like, immediately getting Morg 4 there is, saves a lot of HP, keeps my win streak. Therefore, I get more gold. Have higher later. With, like, other methods. Do I want? Probably Tia. The anomaly that just four stars and one cost unit. No, it upgrades. Uh, it it does. There's no anomaly that that doesn't that just immediately four stars. Um, there's only an augment, a prismatic augment that immediately four stars. Well, another bramble can't be bad, right? And then I can play Zoe next level and probably play this until 10, actually. Which is kind of crazy. Yeah, I think you might be wrong. Uh, I like Hodge here for Mordekaiser. These are my Mordi items. So I have two Trinities. Maybe I'm best against Trinity, Trinity, Hodge. Or maybe I'll just move. Maybe I'll just move the Trinity um, somewhere else. Or maybe I'll move Adaptive and play Trinity, Hodge. Uh, Archangels. The first game I played on PB, my one-star Swain beat a three-star Swain. 
Really? Interesting. You know, on 200 stacks, I'm just immediately giving a, given a two-star five cost, by the way. How um, unbelievable is that? Like, that's crazy. That's my other Trinity. 30 AP each time an ally. Dude, this would be so good if I had my Mordekaiser already. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that's in my final comp. Well, I have just the Noxus unit, so I'm probably just meant to look for tank. Oh my... Isn't that crazy? Isn't that actually insane? With the with the thorn mail? Read this. Gain 60 armor and MR when damage deal 20% of the damage block to adjacent enemies as magic damage. Your Bramble Vest deal 5 to 10 100% more damage and heal the holder for 50% of the damage dealt. Wait, what? Wait, my Rel's gonna kill everyone. I'm not even gonna be able to play the game with the rest of my units, man. That's crazy. I just have a Trinity on bench. Oh, man. I guess I'm playing on an Ezreal. He's not in final. Final comp. This could be insane. Yeah, for sure it could be. Uh, I'm kind of meant to scout everyone else's anomaly here, but... I think we're fine. I'd rather think about my board currently. Okay, I checked you right. I was yapping. No worries. Chilling. How much is my Rel doing? My Rel has done 3.4k damage. She's not half HP yet. She's just healing infinite as well. Oh my gosh, is this balanced? And I'm catching out a 2 star 5 cost here? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Isn't this game kind of over already? Isn't this game kind of over already? This rel is a beast. Go rel 3. I would go rel 3 if I wasn't level 8. Uh, I would roll rel 3 if I was level 6. Wow. That's also insane. Oh, they nerfed the... Did they nerf the cash? The 200? Maybe it's 300. Maybe I thought incorrect. Okay, we need to roll for Ambessa now. Uh, we're probably going to drop these academy units. So the adaptive can actually just go on... Uh, rel... I'm going to drop the academy units. Down to roll already. I know what I'm looking for. Need that rel. Uh, Ambassador, sorry. Out. Um, out. In. Out in remover um, Trinity Hodge Arc remover Ambassador Deathblade Trinity and then we're looking for one more. I who am I gonna itemize? Rumble probably. Let's go BT Rumble. No LeBanc for Sorcerer? Not right now. I think this is probably the best comp I can play. I need Sentinel in, obviously, because because of my frontline Rel. And I really like having Quick Striker on Rel. Just her moving quicker is just huge for me. Like, and the attack speed is huge, too. I think this is probably strong enough to go up on. I have my Lesser Dupe for TF2 here, actually. I might wait until I hit one of the Draven of TF. I'd rather have two star everything. I mean, yeah, that's just incorrect. I should do PF, yeah. Isn't my board ridiculous, to be honest? Your comp is strong? Yeah, it's ridiculous. I think I'm actually like. Yeah. 40 rerolls that persist between rounds. Wow. I mean, I'm, I'm chilling, right? I just go up. Go up 10. Should be strong enough. Synergies are pretty clean. I mean, this is normally, this is the end game Conqueror comp, I think. I don't think this is going to change much between now and, and, uh, and uh, set release. I think the only thing that might change is whether you drop Rumble for LB or not. Uh, or TF for LB, sorry. I think you always keep the Rumble in whether you drop the TF for LB or not. But I think this this is going to be the end game comp for, um, for Conk.
it will be gated by plus one. I think so too. I think normally, yeah. Unless you can pull off what I did this game where you just win streak until stage four and then you sack stage four like the shapeshifters and then you just roll at nine for Mordekaiser two. So, isn't fast nine less viable this set because you don't typically hit your five, five cost carry between four and six? Yeah, I mean, it's, you won't be able to anomaly your... Wow. So this is when you probably do drop this guy. And then you probably even itemize. I mean, this unit is mega, mega broken, by the way, team. Like, I will be surprised if this unit isn't, like, basically cut in half before live release. But this is why I love playing Kongs, because you can actually just play... Like, every single one of the five costs basically fit in. LB, Rumble, Mordi, Mouse with Rel, Savika. Okay, Caitlyn and Jinx don't have synergies in the comp. But even Jace has form switcher with the Swain. So when you play Conks and you get to that 300 cash, you can normally just play literally whatever five cost you hit from the cash. You just get to put it in. Yo, Stormy, good to see you, boss. Um, this one's over. Yeah, wrap it up, to be honest. That's why I, I really like, I think this Conker comp is just really broken, to be honest. If you can get to that 300 cash, it's, it's huge. Here, we're just looking for ambassador items now. I'm actually going to move the BT after neutrals, probably. Uh, Deathblade's fine, I think. We go Deathblade, BT, ambassador. I feel like I'm just here to text with chat rather than send. <laughs> that's fine. Ever, you're, that's great. Uh, I'm not going to spend gold on Rumble here. I don't think it's necessary. Mr. 100 Kongs, yeah. I mean, I think this is probably going to be a Mr. I mean, if I really wanted to be a Mr. 100, I would roll down here, but it's fine. Eight Pit Fighter. Two, four. Is that two spats for eight? Wow. Wow. That's scary. 50% true damage, 99% HP heal. That is really scary. Eight Pit Fighter. That's scary. They're just one-shotting everything. That Jace is Pit Fighter. That Mordecai is Pit Fighter. Oh gosh. Oh, I got the I got the jackpot roll. Nice. Free money. Maybe I should roll it run two of these. Wait, I got a bow from what? Full TG. Wow. Um I need to move the, the BT and then TG Rumble. Fine, we can do that next round. 76 to level. I mean, I'm going to go down 40, but it's probably worth. I don't know what I'm going to play if I do level. I'm down to just wait. It's fine. I'm into the Pit Fighter guy. 50% true damage is crazy into me, so... I'm not expecting to win this fight. It's okay to lose here. I mean, it actually lets me hit the 3-star 5 cost. He's not playing into the Mr. 100? No, I'm not going to be able to. I mean, I maybe could have if I rolled down there, but like... I don't think I should roll there. I think it's a mistake. And always go for a 3 star 5 cost this game instead. We just have to remember which one people aren't, aren't playing. That'll be one which someone's not playing for sure though. Um, I'm going to TG Rumble here. So I'm BT Ambessa. So now we have open components. We'll probably look for TF. I'm going to take QSS just general. Play it on whoever we hit. I mean, Jinx with Jinx with QSS, maybe instead of TF. I do like the Quick Striker, but I'm still TF1, so like, let's just play Jinx QSS. I think Blue Buff Jinx is actually decent as well. Should be able to win this. I mean, I'm pretty strong. 
Dude, this flamethrower thing on Sav Savika is just so mega broken. <laughs> it's so crazy. Punch by out the map, LeBlanc. <laughs> Eight pair fighter is scary though. I'm just gonna keep taking spare parts on Rumble. Shojin Jinx. Uh, what five cost is this guy holding? He's holding everything, right? Um, he has Jace. He doesn't have Kate, I think. I think he doesn't have Kate. He doesn't have Kate. He doesn't have LeBlanc. He doesn't have Kate. He doesn't have LeBlanc. He doesn't have... That's it. Kate and LeBlanc. Oh my gosh, I rolled like... Did, did I roll like two? I think I rolled like two. Two um, jackpots in one fight. It's kind of crazy. I guess I should probably try and deny Sabika 3. Uh, Sabika 2. In the Blanc are probably my best bets then. I mean, I'm to start everything now. I should have duped Draven. That's my fault. We should be able to win. Oh, Jinx. He doesn't have Jinx either. You're right. Wow. Uh, I mean, this Savika's printing me infinite. Dude, enemy Jace is a beast. But I won't lie, I didn't know Jace was this strong. Well, that 1 HP. I'm about to drop some units for a bit. Probably GS for, for Jinx. That is Morty too, it is. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to try and go for a 3 star 5 cost here. My setup's really good for it, so... Um, best way is probably just dropping my Sabika. Here's Mars, no LeBlanc. Okay. So we can go for LeBlanc, Jinx, Caitlyn, and... Jinx. LeBlanc, Jinx, Caitlyn. LeBlanc, Jinx, Caitlyn. LeBlanc, Jinx, Caitlyn. LeBlanc, Jinx, Caitlyn. A Blanc Jinx Caitlyn. Okay. It's doable. Did he drop his mouse? Sacking two here, probably. Sack one more and then we'll roll. I mean, I say sack, I, but my comp might win. Like, I am strong. But the thing is, he's hit a prismatic trait. Hello? Yo, Uncle Domek. You come at a good point. We might hit a 3 star 5 cost. There's a chance. Although, like, if I win this fight, I win the fight. Like, I'm not going to slam items, or I'm not going to put my Savika with three items in, but... If we win, we win. I mean, my comp is very strong. I think his Jace is a beast. Like, frontline Jace kind of looks crazy. Okay. So we're looking for LeBlanc, Jinx, Kate. LeBlanc, Jinx, Caitlyn. Problem is, he has one Savika. He has Mordekaiser. Yeah, I mean, if he has one Savika, he has two. But even if he has one, it means I can't hit, so.
I just missed a jinx. Fine, we're going for the Blanc. Okay, man. Maybe it was jinx. I'm one off first. Fine, I can lose this one. I can lose this one. I'm one off both. I'm one off both. We'll be fine. I can just sell the board here. Just make sure I don't sell the right unit. I mean, the wrong unit. Sell. We should be fine. I should be able to. Hit. He says with confidence. Oh no. Oh no. Does he have one of them? Oh, he has a cape. No, I'm so sad. The way he held it, Caitlin. That's so sad. <laughs> okay, unlucky. It is what it is. He sold the Caitlyn too. I saw it, buddy. I saw it. Okay. GG's. I mean, I think I could have won this game, but I'd rather go for the three star five cost. GG, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, until I like, comment, subscribe. You guys are the GOAT. You made it this far. Thank you.